<laughs> Jennifer's here now. You see, we had to do a bit of bleeping show. there. You don't oh, no. half swear in that film. Well, the no. script makes you swear. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. It was so funny because we had a, a viewing in Liverpool and my family were all there and I had to <laughs> apologise to my grand first. I was like, I'm so sorry, but it was, you know, Paul Andrew Williams who wrote it. I was like, it was his fault. <laughs> Yeah. Tell us about the girl you play. She's, she, her, her stepfather's incredibly rich. Yeah, right. I, she's, um, the, the, the film starts and she's been kidnapped and they're trying to make a little bit of money so they hold it, they hold it to ransom and mm. they, it kind of goes horribly wrong because what they don't realise is they've kidnapped the witch from hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, it all goes horribly wrong and then they end up stumbling across the only place in the country with somebody who's actually worse than me. <laughs> Who we just saw briefly Which is there. Who we just briefly saw. Oh, yeah. Why is it that those, <laughs> it's a real zo it those zombie like figures never have to run in these movies, right? It doesn't <laughs> matter. You, you know, they can be trying to murder an Olympic sprinter, and the sprinter will sprint away at 30 miles an hour on foot, right? And they can go for half a mile, and the zombie just does this after them. And after about 10 seconds, the sprinter stops, turns around, and the zombie's there right behind them. <laughs> I know. <It's> <laughs> win, the magic of film. <laughs> it's, got, it's got some good reviews. It's got I very good reviews. Yeah, very good obviously, reviews a good part for you. And, and you were actually. Um, he, he wanted you, the, the, the director, the producer, wanted you right from the start, didn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah, what happened was um, I actually got cast for The Cottage about, about four years ago. Oh. And, um, you know, with the British film industry yeah. funding and things. So Paul went off and, you know, in frustration, he, he wrote London to Brighton, which got huge critical, right. critical right. acclaim. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he won all kinds of awards and, and that was what gave him the, the, the go-ahead for The Cottage, really. Did he write it with a Liverpool money? accent in mind? Yeah, what he said, which what? this isn't me, by the way. He said he wanted it to sound like doing someone puts like the nails down a blackboard, <laughs> and I was like, because I, I didn't want to, because I do obviously with doing Chicago and things, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and Phantom I did RP. I didn't want to do it in a Scouse accent, and, I, and he was like, no. I want it in a Scouse accent, and I was like, OK. Well, it's a great... We won't get too much of the plot away. It's, it's, it's very good. It's very funny. Very dark, A lot of blood. I mean, it's yeah. very gory. It's a great scene when you've been kidnapped and you're all sort of tied up, and, the, and one of the kidnappers comes up to sort of have a look at you. Just, you just head back to the curly yeah. kiss <laughs> and, and take control. It's great. OK, well, good luck with that. Oh, um, thank you. Let's talk about your career, because it's been a really interesting... Really interesting... You've been like a pinball on a pinball machine, bouncing off, you know, pillar mm -hmm. after pillar, stacking up the points, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Your single was um, 2003, wasn't it? Baby, I Don't Care. Yeah. That was a cover, but it got mm -hmm. to number 10, was it? Or no. No. Number six. Six. Yeah, number six. Let's have a look at that and then we'll talk about how it led okay. into things like Phantom. Yep. If you want to, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you do more pop? Would you do more pop stuff? Um, I, it's 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 it's, it's kind of really nice now because I can just concentrate on acting, and that's what you sometimes want to do. you know. Although I've been in the in the industry now for like twelve years, people forget that I'm an actress because I've done so many different things, and yeah. You know, it kind of overshadows it sometimes, which yeah. can be a little bit frustrating. Well, so. But when very, you saw, when, you, when, when um, you, you made that record, you were performing it, I think it was on GMTV, wasn't mm -hmm. it? When the director of Phantom, Joel yep. Schumacher, um, spotted you mm -hmm. and he thought you'd be ideal for Meg. Yeah, yeah well, he, he'd auditioned all over the world and couldn't yeah. find anyone who could sing soprano. Um, and, and you and did the ballet. Level of ballet. Yeah, and I was yeah. doing an interview and I, they were asking me about, because I was a world international champion at, at ballet, yeah. and they were asking me about that and then he, he kind of... Can it, you imagine that? He's sitting there with his coffee, he's all too lucky, you know, dipping his class and I've, I've found my Meg. I know, That's and her. He just, I walked in and he was just like, honey, you got the part. And I was like... Oh my God! I was like, oh, okay. You sang, you sang beautifully in it as well. Yeah. You, you, really you, did. you were great in Phantom. You got oh, very again. I mean, it's it, it's not not one of the main roles. But it's, it's a pivotal role in in, mm -hmm. in certain scenes, particularly in, in the bit when uh, when Christine's communing with the Phantom in, in, in the early yeah. part, and you come in on her. We, we we've cut a bit of, of this, oh. and uh, yeah, Judy's right. You were really good in it. Oh, thank look. you.
love to show it all, actually. So it's a lovely, lovely song, that. Um, have you ever ended in a command performance for Andrew Lloyd Webber in, in that, by any chance? Pardon? A, a command performance for Andrew Lloyd Webber, the composer, uh, by any chance? Did you no, it, it, no? It, no, I know he's coming that he's having the... Um, because some of us have, you see. Some, some oh. of us have actually done, done Phantom specifically Richard, for the man who composed Richard, Some of us have done that, you know. Richard went on Webber. record as saying that the one thing he wanted to do was to be cast as the Phantom. As Phantom. Ah. And I have to say, Judy was very keen on being Christine. <laughs> Uh, uh, and also using that little boat, you know, the little boat that goes yeah. across the lake. So, um, well, we did it for the old guy, just, just as a favour. <laughs> anyway. Look. Say you'll share with me one love, one lifetime. Let me lead you from your solitude. Say you need me with you here, this side you, anywhere. I'm, any chance? I thought I'd seen it all, but I'm not... Because <laughs> I, I, I really thought I'd seen it all, because I did a daytime television programme, well, a morning programme yes. in yeah. Japan. Yeah. And I was made to wait with this guy, you know, who was the interviewer, and he comes in, in the full Phantom Regalia, <laughs> and there's Joel Schumacher, our director, and me on the sofa, and this and he sings the music of the night. And he said, I did this, and I uh, proposed to my wife while I'm doing this. I said, did she accept? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was one of those, but I have to say uh, that that pretty much comes close. <laughs> I don't think you're oh, in for a career. I'm in for a career at <laughs> Majesty's Theatre. I can't believe you didn't cast you, <laughs> Gerard you, Butler. Would, was you, <laughs> would you do it on stage if I asked you to do it on stage? Um, I don't know. I did a year tour with Chicago, and I've been in the West End three times. Yeah, right. You want the, you want to think, act? Yeah. That, that's really what you. And one of the mm. things that really gets your goat is that the the, the, the photo shoots you did as a kid when mm -hmm. you were mm -hmm. when you were sort of in Brookside, um, and the, 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 the lads' magazines yeah. keep reprinting them. Yeah. With, I mean, without any permission from you. No, uh, it's it's funny because you turn up to a photo shoot. Oh, that's yeah. That's three. That's three years old, isn't it? I mean, yeah. see, there you are on the left hand side in the film. Yeah. But they've taken a picture. I mean, you know, they've got the right to do it, but that's. A picture of you three years ago, isn't yeah. It? I think I need to dye my hair or something, do I? So as everyone knows that they're all pictures. <laughs> does, it, does it bother you? I mean, do you feel it's in any way holding you back? That or um, it's it's funny because especially in the UK, the the casting agencies, you know, yeah. they can be a bit, you know, they like to a bit sniffy. Yeah, sometimes. Mm. But you know, I've I've had a great career. Well, not had a great career. I'm, you you know, I'm doing extremely well. You're off the back you, of I mean, it, and it's not something that I'm embarrassed about. Or, no, well, you're very you know. talented. You can act. You can sing. You can dance. Mm. But when you and when you said when when you were doing those things, you were very you were very young, and obviously yeah. you were in Brookside. Brookside loved the publicity. That was brilliant anyone, for the show, yeah. exactly. So, so obviously, I was getting asked to do all these shoots, and they were just kind of the first one I ever did was for a, a, a GQ, and it was a, like um, a lads a, a front cover, and it was a Lolita, and I was 15, and you know I didn't know anything. I just turned no. up to the shoot, you know, and it was kind of. Uh, and then obviously it was such a success and just kept on doing it and whenever you turn around and do a photo shoot the, the photographer owns the pictures so um, i know and it comes back. i don't think, I, don't think them should, I, don't, I, I can see it irritates you but i don't think mm. it's any any more serious than being a minor irritation no. in, your, in your career well, you yeah. and really it's so well. strange because in america like all the actresses do, do, it. do it's shoots it's all the time absolutely yeah You're you right, know yeah. but it's kind of it's kind of frowned upon in, in well, the uk listen. We did, well, I'd like to say one more thing. You, when you were 13. No. Yes, uh, in, in Brookside, yeah. 13, oh, no, come no. on. It's so, it's so, it's still you. It's your first appearance, yeah, first appearance. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. so look. Well, they have looked around. It's very small, Greg. Keep the vision, Margie. Yeah, well, I reckon your vision's pretty short-sized if you think we'll all fit in here. Yeah, it'll do. Once we've done the work. You're only saying that because you'll get your own room. We'll be squeezing that little broom cupboard. It's only a temporary measure, you know that. But why don't you all have a vote? Suits me. All right, all those in favour of moving here. All those against. <laughs> See, you were scrappy oh. then. You were scrappy then. <laughs> you had looked tiny. <laughs> Yeah, very well, sweet. we said it last time you were on. We think you're lovely. It's Aww, lovely to see you here. Thank you. And good luck. Yeah, good here. luck. I mean, oh, I know there are you. other things in the pipeline for you. And, and the film's out tomorrow. And the film would get bad yeah. to say that. <laughs> did, say that? did the plug for us or yeah. again? The cottage is released in cinemas nationwide tomorrow, and it has had very good reviews, and you've had very mm. good reviews. Yeah. So well done. It's an 18, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not for the faint-hearted. No. no. Or the squeamish. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Okay. Listen. Have you